Hey guys, it's Lauren, and if you did not already know, my birthday was yesterday, December 21st, and I turned 16, which is really exciting, you know, hashtag sweet 16. My sweet 16 was pretty sweet, I got to hang out with some of my best friends, see a movie, the new Star Wars movie, which was really good. And if you haven't checked out my winter tag with my friend Raylan, you should definitely do that because I turned 16 in that video like it went, it turned midnight and it was, it was hilarious. But I asked you guys over on Instagram if you would like for me to film a 16th birthday haul and a lot of you liked it and commented that you would like to see that so I just thought, you know, might as well. I did one of these last year on my 15th birthday and I got some positive feedback on that so let's do this. I have to give the disclaimer that this video is not meant to brag. I am thankful for everything that I was given and I most definitely did not need to get anything that I did get. So the first couple of things that I got are actually things that are in use right now. I was given the Apple MacBook Pro from both my grandparents and my parents. They both kind of came together and got me that and I was also from my parents given the Cowboy Studio lights, which are phenomenal. So both of those things are great and I use my laptop for iMovie and YouTube and the studio lights for filming. I have not had like any kind of like friend birthday party or anything, but I hung out with my two best friends, Raylan and Emily. Shout out, I love you guys if you're watching this. Funny story. Raylan gave me this bag, and I was like, yo, I've seen this bag somewhere, but I couldn't remember where. And once I opened it, she was like, yeah, I'm kind of sorry. I gave you the same bag you gave me for my birthday. And I was like, hey, save the trees. But anyway, uh, she just got me a 365 Days to Knowing God for Girls devotional book. And I'm really excited to have this. I will start on January 1st. So she knew that I wanted one of these. So that was such a thoughtful gift. And I love it. She also got me a Hershey's Symphony Creamy Milk Chocolate chocolate Bar, which I may or may not have already eaten like one third of. No shame. This is the best candy bar, chocolate bar. I've ever had in my entire life and she got me hooked on them a couple years ago but I hadn't had one in a really long time and man this just rekindled my relationship and then from my friend Emily you guys all probably know my obsession with candles she got me a 719 Walnut Avenue cranberry ice candle which smells like life it smells so good I wish there was something where you guys could like smell what I'm smelling because this smells bomb. And she also wrote me a really, really sweet card. She also got me more candy, which I really want to eat a candy cane right now. Thanks for reminding me. But she got me traditional peppermint candy cane, as well as she also got me a huge Hershey's milk chocolate bar, which I love chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. <laughs> I don't know how she knew, but this peppermint candy cane chapstick is my fave. You guys probably know that if you've watched any of my tutorials or favorites videos. I love this stuff. I like stock up every Christmas. Oh, I love this. She developed a picture from Winter Formal of the two of us. I love this picture. I have to show you. Oh, aren't we cute? No, just kidding. Don't mind me, I'm just reminiscing. And then on my actual birthday, my grandparents got me a card and some shopping money since they already had helped out to buy me my MacBook. My grandma always makes her own cards. I have no clue how, but every occasion she always gives us created online cards. And in the back it says, created just for you by Rumba. And I call my grandma Rumba, don't ask, I don't even know why. And then my other grandparents also got me a sweet card with some shopping money and a bag of Lindor truffles, which these things are 
amazing. I love them. And it's a variety pack, which you know, I love variety packs of chocolate because chocolate is chocolate. And I'm obsessed with chocolate. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking now. These next two gifts <laughs> made me want to cry tears of happiness. I was just so excited when I opened this and I was not expecting it. But you guys all should probably know my obsession with Ellie Golding. She is an alternative pop artist and she just got popular like within this last year, year and a half. And I have been listening to her, no joke, since like sixth or seventh grade, which was like four or five years ago. And I'm just obsessed with her. And if you watch my Christmas wish list 2015, my Christmas and birthday wish lists were kind of combined into one since there are only three days apart. So I asked for the Ellie Goulding Times Mac makeup collection collaboration and literally I about peed myself. <laughs> look at this. Cry. So, I was given most of Ellie Goulding's collection that was not like the stuff that was already part of the permanent line. So, the powder blush, Halcyon Days and Halcyon Nights, the two palettes, her lip stuff, and then the only thing that I did get from her collaboration that was part of the permanent line were the Pink Rebel Luster Drops, which these things are really cool. I use all of this makeup, all of the makeup that I'm wearing on my face is basically stuff that I was given from her collection, and it's amazing. I will most definitely be doing a review on this collection where I will show you like swatches and close-ups and leave a comment if you'd also like to see a makeup look from the stuff in this collection because I would definitely do that. I will probably do that even if you guys don't request to see that. So I'm in love with all this stuff and as much as I want to use it every single day, I probably won't just because it's limited edition and I really don't want to run out of it because it's all so pretty and all of this is like my colors you guys know I love naturals and shimmery champagnes and corally shimmery pinks and corals and all that fun stuff and that's literally what this collection is made up of and I love it I was also given this furry cardigan which is literally like heaven in a cardigan it feels so soft I feel like I have like a poodle like with me all the time that that's kind of bad. I should not say that because this is not real fur, obviously. But I just got this from Abercrombie and Fitch and I actually picked this out but they made me wait for my birthday to get it because we don't have an Abercrombie and Fitch here anymore. So whenever I went down to Indy for the Colts game, I got this and and I'm in love with it. I will probably not come out of this for a couple of days. No, actually I probably will because it's kind of disgusting. And the very last thing. <sighs> I'm not ready for this. Look at this huge box. So I unwrapped this huge box and I was like, yo, it's probably clothes or something bigger that I asked for. And I opened it. And there's paper and a whole bunch of tissue paper. And I was like, is there even anything in here? My parents were like, keep digging. So I kept digging. And I found this little card in that giant box. And I opened it and I was like, I think I know what this is. But I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, this is not what I think it is. And then I got the card out and the card just made me laugh. The card is Phil Dunphy from Modern Family, and it just says something funny. You gotta listen to this. I'm a hip, but I surf the web, I text, lol, laugh out loud, omg, oh my god, wtf, why the face? So that was just funny. And then inside the card were two Ellie Goulding Delirium tickets for her May 14th concert in Indianapolis. 
and I don't have them anymore because they made me put them away in safekeeping so I don't lose them because that would totally be something I would do. So I don't have the actual tickets, but I have two tickets and I'm going to take a friend and we are actually in the seating area and then my parents will probably try to get tickets for the lawn. So that will be so, so fun and you don't even know how excited I was. Like, I think I said in my wish list that I know I'm not getting this, but it's something that I would really, really like and I just, I still can't believe it. I've been legit listening to Ellie Goulding and Years and Years, which is the group that she is touring with. Well, Years and Years is opening for her, but I've been listening to them for the past day and a half, and I just, I can't contain how excited I am. If I do start vlogging more, you can definitely expect a vlog from that. So, that was all for my 16th birthday haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and it's something you'd like to do. I am definitely, definitely getting a lot more videos out over the end of December and beginning of January because I am on winter break and I'm all set. Like, it's great. I've been lounging all day. Where did my bun go? Oh, ha, there it is. Again, this video is not meant for bragging purposes. It's kind of a tradition, something that I do every year that I've done for the past couple of years. And you guys seem like you wanted to see it, so I'm going ahead and letting you guys see it. You can go ahead and check my social media out down below. All that fun stuff will be down there as well as I will try to link most of the stuff that I talked about in this video besides the candy bars because you can probably figure out yourself where you can get the candy bars <laughs> because that's pretty self-explanatory. They stroll up to any local gas station and be like, yo, I need a Hershey bar and they'd be like, but I think that's about all. I hope you guys have an awesome holiday and new year. See you next time.